Fraser Gaming back again with a new episode of Metal Gear Solid. Last episode we did a tank battle and we got in touch with Meryl. So this episode we're going to be uh, doing the Cyborg Ninja battle. And I want to say thank you for all the support. Uh, thank you for watching the channel and watching this, the episodes and series of Metal Gear Solid. Appreciate that. So let's get started. If you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe and turn notifications on. Now we gotta take this call. Be careful. You absolutely must not use weapons in that area. I've already programmed the nanomachine so that he won't be able to, Colonel. What? What are you talking about? Have you forgotten? That's where they keep the nuclear warheads. Can't you see them? Yeah, there's lots of boxes piled up here, but are they all warheads? Yes, they're all dismantled warheads. They just leave them here? It's like President Baker said, totally careless. They're working on a limited budget. They try to put on a pretty face for the media, but this is the grim reality of it. Nastasha knows lots more about it than I do. Her frequency is 141.52. All of the warheads in those boxes have had their detonation mechanisms removed, so there's no fear of them exploding. But if the warheads are broken, they might leak plutonium, and that would be a serious problem. Snake, never use your weapon on that floor. Okay, so we can't use our weapons here, so we have to be careful with your... I think there's a box on the truck over there. What was that noise? Yeah. Almost got spotted there. Hmm. Okay, get these up. I'm not even going. Oh shit. Yep, there we go. Spotted. But it's all good though. Got here. That's how I used to always do it. I don't think he comes all the way. Yeah, we good. But yeah, I really appreciate you guys for all the support and watching the videos and if you guys have any uh, more ideas about what y'all want to see, feel free to comment. So, first thing we gotta do, we gotta go to the first floor because we gotta get the, uh, the, the Nikita, I think that's the name of it, it's a remote control missile. We have to use that to, uh, to destroy uh, a box. Because on the second floor, when we get there, we have to destroy the thing because the floors are electrified. At least we can use our weapons now. They came out. Thing is in here. Yep, there it is. Nikita launcher. Got the other rooms while we're at it. I don't think we can't open up the other ones. I don't think there's shit in the bathroom. So, uh, let me go around. I don't think there's nothing over here. Nope. <laughs> shit. Oh, I got spotted again. But it's all good though. It makes things a little more interested. There we go. Cause we got some rations. So much for stealth. 
Oh, we do have the uh, re Nikita, which is a remote control missile. Oh, uh, we're gonna have to use this and to destroy everything. Destroy the electric electrical current pulse. Oh, excuse me, I just cannot speak today. Well, how is everyone doing? I'm doing pretty good. Just working. I know it took a couple of days to do all of this for that. I apologize. But yeah. I always like this little feature that they added. And kind of seeds of the walls. But here we go. We got a phone call right here. A little cutscene, but it's no biggie. It's going to show us where the boss is, and this is what we got to uh, destroy the thing right there. Once we destroy it, we can uh, actually walk on the floor. Snake, watch out! That place is filled with gas! Also, the floor is electrified. First, destroy the high voltage switch. It's the switchboard on the northwest wall. But how? I can't reach it. Use a remote controlled missile. Oh, I love the voice acting in this game. Let's see if we can actually get there without being shot down by these turns. And we good. There we go. Got it. Alright, we gotta go, I gotta go back in and get some air. Cause it's filled with cause the place is filled with poisonous gas, so should be a gas mass in here somewhere. I think it's on the other side though. Yeah, there it is. A little bit of damage, but good. I'll go ahead and use the ratchet. Let's see if I can take this thing out. There we go. We'll get a little cutscene right here. Ain't good. Okay. Do this. It looks like they were cut by some type of blade. Yeah, this part used to kind of creep me out. I know there's uh, some ghosts in here. If we had the camera, we could take pictures and it shows the ghosts. There's a pretty neat feature they added to it. Fortunately, we can't do that because we ain't got the camera, but. I hope you guys enjoy the episode, and if y'all do, be sure to subscribe. Appreciate all your support. Piss us out. Stealth camouflage? Who are you? Where is my friend? What? What are you talking about? Oh, what next? Snake. You're that ninja. I've been waiting for you, Snake. Who are you? Neither enemy nor friend. I am back from a world where such words are meaningless. What was the voice acting? 
I've removed all obstacles. Now you and I will battle to the death. What do you want? I've waited a long time for this day. Now I want to enjoy the moment. What's with these guys? It's like one of my Japanese animes. I've come from another world to do battle with you. What is it, revenge? It is nothing so trivial as revenge. A fight to the death with you. Only in that can my soul find respect. I will kill you, or you will kill me. It makes no difference. No! <laughs> ah, fine. He can watch from inside there. I need that man. Keep your hands off him. Here we go. Now, make me feel it. Now make we can't use weapons on him because he can de deflect a bullet. So if I try to shoot him, he reflects it. It don't matter what I use, he deflects it. So what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to fight him. Now I can use the chap grenade to uh kind of mess him up, but I'm not going to do that, so we're going to do it. We're just going to fist fight him. We should fucking actually hit him. We come over here to this little corner, there's a little uh, PlayStation on here. See, you can't interact with or anything like that, but it's pretty cool they added that into the game. Be honest, with you, I don't even remember that was on uh, MGS4. Might take a little while. Ah, shit. I ain't playing with it shit today. There we go. We're gonna use a ration just in case. Now we play a little bit of hide and seek. He's invisible, so you don't really have to use the thumb or goggles or anything like the same. Like you can pretty much see the shadow. Like you can pretty much see him even when he's invisible. I pretty much know where he's going because I've played this so many times. It's a pretty simple battle, it's not too hard. Yeah, it's not it's not too hard. Do you remember Snake? The feel of battle, the clashing of bone and sinew. I always love that damn suit. I always love that suit. All right, here we go. We can't defeat him yet. Goes a little crazy. Now we can use our weapons. Oh, 
the so only time you can actually use a weapon on him. But that's it. We did it. I felt that snake. Do you remember me now? Can't be. You were killed in Zanzibar. What? Not again. What's happening? This is gonna be a little long cutscene and all that, and for that I apologize. Last time I'm not planning on cutting any cutscenes. So. Gray Fox. Gray Colonel, Fox. That ninja is Gray Fox. No doubt about it. Ridiculous. You of all people should know he died in Zanzibar. No. He should have died, but he didn't. What? It happened before I joined Foxhound's medical staff. They were using a soldier for their gene therapy experiments. I never heard that. It happened right after you retired. My predecessor, Dr. Clark, was in charge. Dr. Clark? Yes. He started the gene therapy project. And where is he now? He was killed in an explosion in his lab two years ago. So what about this soldier? Apparently, for their test subject, they decided to use the body of a soldier who was recovered after the fall of Zanzibar. And that was Gray Fox. But he was already dead. Yes. But they revived him. They fitted him with a prototype exoskeleton and kept him drugged for four years while they experimented on him like a plaything. Today's genome soldiers were born from those experiments. That's the sickest thing I ever heard. They used him to test all sorts of gene therapy techniques. Naomi, why didn't you tell us about this sooner? Because it's confidential information. Is that the only reason? Naomi, what happened to Gray Fox after that? The record says he died in the explosion. I see. But even if that ninja is Gray Fox, the question is, why? From what I could tell, he didn't know who he was. Are you saying that he's just a mindless robot? I'm not sure, but he seems intent goes. on fighting me to the death. We'll meet again. I know it. So you'll fight again? Until you kill him? Huh. I'd rather not. But maybe that's what he wants. Right. You'll find out a little bit more about the story later on for those who haven't How played it yet. Stay in there? I don't have any spoilers. Huh? Are you but if you them? want to, you can go back to the old no, uh, M MG games alone. from the uh, Nintendo. Alone? Are you in a I don't too? have them, so on, I can't really play it and show y'all, but y'all can always watch forever. the YouTube or get the story on YouTube from another channel. Play the whole story about it. Your uniform is different than theirs. You're the Metal Gear Chief Engineer, Hal Emmerich, right? But we'll watch this and we'll go from there. You know me? I heard about you from Merrill. Oh, so you're here to rescue me. Sorry, but no. There's something that I've got to do first. Oh. Well, at least you're not one of them. Huh. Are you hurt? I'm okay. I just twisted my ankle a little bit trying to get away. Well, if that's all, it's nothing to worry about. I want to ask you something. I need information about Metal Gear. Huh? Metal Gear? Yeah. What's Metal Gear really designed for? It's a mobile TMD. It's designed to shoot down nuclear missiles. Only for defensive purposes, of course. Fire! I already know that Metal Gear is nothing but a nuclear-equipped walking deathmobile. Nuclear? W what are you talking about? The terrorists are planning to use Metal Gear to launch a nuclear missile. You telling me you didn't know? 
They're gonna put a dismantled warhead into Metal Gear's TMD missile module? Wrong. From the beginning, the purpose of this exercise was to test Metal Gear's nuclear launch capability using a dummy nuclear warhead. The terrorists are just continuing the work you started. No, you're wrong. I heard it directly from your boss, Baker. No. A nuclear missile on Rex? So you really didn't know? No. All the armament was built by a separate department, and the President personally supervised the final assembly of the main unit. President Baker? Yeah. I was never told exactly what they armed Rex with. I, I only know it's equipped with a Vulcan cannon, a laser, and a railgun. The railgun. Oh, they used to be my said. favorite yeah. what, thing it ever. It uses magnets to fire bullets at extremely high velocities. Look velocity. at that thing. That thing the looks so badass. The technology was originally developed for the SDI system. This Metal Gear was scrapped. probably my all-time favorite thing. We were successful in follow. miniaturizing it in a joint venture between Arms Tech and Rivermore National Labs. The railgun is on Rex's right arm. Metal Gear's main function is to launch nuclear missiles. You sure you're not forgetting something? It's true that Metal Gear has a missile module on his back that can carry up to eight missiles, but are you saying it was originally meant to carry nuclear missiles? Yeah, but that's not all I think. If Metal Gear fired only standard nuclear missiles, then they should already have all the practical data they need. No. Could it be? Metal Gear's co-developer, Rivermore National Labs, was working on a new type of nuclear weapon. They were using Nova and NIF laser nuclear fusion testing equipment and supercomputers. So they developed a new type of nuclear weapon in a VR testing lab, huh? Yes, but you can't use virtual data on a battlefield. They would need actual launch data. These are some of the supercomputers. If you link these, you can test everything in a virtual environment. But it's all just theoretical. So this exercise was designed to test the real thing. What did our president do? If the terrorists launched that thing... <sighs> Damn. Damn! I'm such a fool. It's all my fault. The truth is, my grandfather was part of the Manhattan Project. He suffered with the guilt for the rest of his life. And my father... He was born on August 6th, 1945. The day of the Hiroshima bomb. God's got a sense of humor, all right. Three generations of Emmerich men. We must have the curse of nuclear weapons written into our DNA. I used to think that I could use science to help mankind. But the one that wound up getting used was me. Using science to help mankind, it's just in the movies. <laughs> That's enough crying. Pull yourself together. Where is Metal Gear? Where on this base are they keeping it? He does cry a lot. <laughs> Even in the early games, he cried a lot. <laughs> Rex is in the underground maintenance base. Where's that? North of the communications tower, but it's a long way there. The emergency override system for the detonation code is there, too? Yeah, in the maintenance base control room. You'd better hurry. If they were planning a launch from the start, then their ballistic program is probably finished. And since they haven't called for me in a few hours, they must not need me. In other words, they must be ready to launch. Meryl's got the detonation code override keys. We'll link up with her. If we can't override the launch, we'll have to destroy Rex. I'll show you the way. On that leg of yours, you'll just slow me down. You'll need me if you're gonna destroy Rex. I don't need you, I just need your brain. I created Rex. It's my right, my duty to destroy him. 
If you get a chance, try to escape. When the coast is clear, I'll contact you by codec. How am I supposed to escape from an island? Uh, okay. So what then? I want you to hide somewhere and keep me informed. You know this place well, don't you? Of course I do. And don't worry, I've got this. It's the same stealth technology as the ninja. Foxhound was gonna use them, but with this I'll be fine. Bad leg and all. Good. But I want Meryl to watch after you too. Also... Meryl, the engineer's okay. That's a relief. I want you to look after him. Where are you now? Very close. There she is! Over there! <gasps> oh no! Damn, they spotted me! <laughs> Meryl! What happened? Something's wrong. Did you hear something? Wasn't that some kind of music? What did she look like? She... She was wearing the same green uniform as the terrorists. A disguise? She had such a cute way of walking. She kind of wiggles her behind. You were really looking. No, <laughs> she's got a very cute behind. Uh, walking, me. huh? I love that port. If she's disguised as the enemy, you'll have to contact her when she's alone, huh? There's only one place where we can be sure she's by herself. Where's that? Don't be so dense. Here, use this security card. It's security level four. You're not in pain, are you? Huh? You feel okay? Nothing bothering you? What's wrong? Getting all friendly all of a sudden. No, nothing. I'm glad you're okay. You're strange. I'm a little nervous. Everyone else I've saved suddenly dies. You're bad luck. Forget it, doctor. Call me Otacon. Otacon? It stands for Otaku Convention. And Otaku's a guy like me who likes Japanimation. Japan was the first country to successfully make bipedal robots. They're still the best in the field of robotics. And Japanese cartoons played some part in that? They did. I didn't get into science to make nuclear weapons, you know. That's what all scientists say. I became a scientist because I wanted to make robots like the ones in the Japanese animes. Really, it's true. It just sounds like a childish excuse to me. You're right. We have to take responsibility. Science has always thrived on war. Greatest weapons of mass destruction were created by scientists who wanted to be famous. But that's all over now. I won't take part in murder anymore. Whatever. All I want from you is information. Sure. I know everything about this whole base. Ask me anything about Rex or about this place. Also, with this stealth camouflage, I can sneak in and out of the armory and mess hall. If you need ammo or rations, just tell me and I'll bring them to you. I'm on frequency 141.12. See you later. Alrighty. Good to go now. Alright, good stuff. So I'm gonna save real quick. Snake does an old Chinese saying. I'm not gonna worry about listening to this, that's one thing I am gonna skip. Alrighty. Alright guys, so I'm gonna stop the episode right here and thank you guys for watching. Be sure to subscribe and turn the notifications on. If you like the video, be sure to leave a like. Uh, thank you for all your support, and I will see you in the next episode. Thank you.